Our special guest is Gary Maddox, the Secretary of Defense. Gary, I have uh, some more uh, impressive background information on you that's been provided by uh, one of our friends. Drew Davis, right over here, I brought in a couple of pictures uh, with uh, Gary uh, and uh, get Gary Matthews. I talked to Gary yesterday, tried to get him on next week's show, but I think he's going to be back in Chicago uh, July 6th. Uh, but Greg and I will have uh, Sarge on uh, in the future, and we have him on every year. Uh, but here is the uh, statistical information, Greg and Gary, that Drew Davis came up with uh, regarding the Secretary of Defense. There have been 18,000... 540 men to play Major League Baseball. Only 12 of those have a World Series championship ring and have won more gold gloves than you, Gary Maddox. Wow. And those 12 people, uh, this is out of 18,540 people. A lot of people. Only 12 have a World Series championship ring and more gold gloves than Gary Maddox. And those 12 people are Greg Maddox, Jim Cott, Hutch Rodriguez, Johnny Bench, Keith Hernandez, Roberto Alomar, Brooks Robinson, Mike Schmidt, Ozzy Smith, Luis Aparicio, Roberto Clemente, and Willie Mays. Wow. That's it. That's it. That's pretty impressive, Bull. Very impressive. So, this this guy is a great baseball historian, Drew Davis. Drew, thank you for that information. Thank you for the photos uh, for Garrett. Well, you have to really thank him. He had to do a lot of work to get something like that on me. You have to really. When did you start? You... Last night. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll tell you. And then uh, that photo, Jesse Owens, the one-time world's fastest human. And, of course, he had to accomplish that at the 1936 Olympics in front of Adolf Hitler. And, yeah. my gosh, what a setting that was. Yeah, I mean, we had uh, Jesse came to spring training one year uh, with us, and I had a chance to talk to him about running and technique and things like that. So it was just a thrill to be in his presence, obviously. Uh, but he didn't know much about hitting that slider, which was killing me at the time. <laughs> <laughs> the pitch that dooms everyone. Yeah, I, I, if I couldn't uh, steal first, though, you know, I had to learn how to hit that. Uh, but Jesse Owens, that was uh, that was tremendous, uh, what he accomplished. And I think in the picture that I see right there, I think I might have been, uh, that might have been my first year back from Vietnam. So it really was a, a transitional time for me in my career. Well, Gary, what was that experience like, serving in Vietnam? I mean, is that something that you're comfortable talking about? Or, or how, how has that shaped your views going forward of life?